A breaking update tonight to an I-Team investigation. I-Team investigator Jennifer Wall showed you these conditions at Hilltop Apartments in her rodent residential reports. Well, tonight, city council members unanimously approved a bill filed by Councilwoman Jacoby Pittman to remove residents from these conditions. And the bill allocates more than $140,000 to move people to new housing so they don't have to live in mold and rodent-infested apartments. Pittman spoke with the hour within the hour after the vote, thanking her fellow council members. You all don't know how much this means. Um, that's why they were coming every time we had um, a council meeting because they wanted to let you all know how much this has impacted them. And it has also impacted me. And News for Jack's reporter Bree Isom is tracking the legislation. Bree, this is obviously a huge relief to people living in the complex. It is so this legislation will actually help fund the moving expenses to get these tenants out of the mold and rat infested apartments that the I team exposed. Now this would help get those people out of the apartments and some people say that the only solution to this problem is to remove everyone. And I have rats and mold in my AC unit. Tenants like Courtney James have been dealing with rodent infestation at the Hilltop apartment complex for the past year. Tenants spoke out about these problems at a city council meeting Tuesday night to hopefully receive some help from the city. The mayor's office sent 14 code enforcement inspectors to the property last year where they documented 286 violations in 62 apartments with a rodent infestation noted in all 32 of them. But tenants say nothing has been done to fix the problem. They come in through the stove, the AC units. Um, they came in my bedroom. She says her children's breathing has been affected from mold growing in the AC unit and from the rodent droppings. One child hasn't been able to recover from a severe case of RSV. And she still has a rough cough. So I give her her breathing machine so, you know, to kind of help loosen it up. The I-team's Jennifer Wall was there when City Councilwoman Jacoby Pittman visited the complex last month. Hilltop Village is in Jacoby Pittman's district. The councilwoman has been speaking to the tenants about their living conditions. No one should have to live under these conditions. And, you know, I, my heart is broken. Pittman proposed a legislation at Tuesday night's City Council meeting that would allocate money to help residents move out of the apartment complex. Pittman says the families in the worst conditions would move first. James, who has her two children on breathing machines, says that this would be life changing for her family. We appreciate her help, what she's done so far, and we want her to continue to help us to resolve this situation. And all 18 city council members voted yes on this bill. And coming up at 11, who this bill is going to help. I'm live in Jacksonville, Bree Isom, Channel 4, the local station.